This is beautiful. Okay, so it doesn't look like much, but in the rich realm of the player's mind, it's absolutely fascinating. We're playing Reiner Knizia's Lost Cities. The goal is to score points by playing cards in these columns, but you have to play in ascending order. Also, as soon as you begin play in a given column, you get negative 20 points. These handshake cards multiply your score, positive or negative, in a column. This choice right here displays the absolute best elements of Lost Cities. I see four, maybe five reasonable plays from this hand. The most immediate option is the white three, as we've already committed to white and losing the ability to play the two if we draw it is no big deal. However, scoring a lot of points in, in one color is often the best way to win the game, so ideally I'd like to hold out for more white handshake cards. We could start on yellow by playing the two. This is appealing because we're probably not going to get a handshake card for yellow anyways, and there's little downside because worst case, we're net negative four points by playing the yellows that we already have. However, doing so will signal to our opponents that we have yellow cards. If we hold on to them, we can perhaps guide them towards semi-fruitlessly digging for a lot of yellows. How about discards? We have the blue four sitting by itself, not doing much. Discarding a six typically isn't the best play, but our opponent hasn't yet signaled that they have any blue cards. I like discarding the green five even better, however, and not only because it's a lower number. Some might be hesitant to stack nine worth of green in the discard pile, but if your opponent picks up the five, we can just pick up the four on our next turn. If they play the five, we simply discard the four again, because then they can't pick it up and play it. If they discard the five, we discard the four and dare them to try the same thing again. Either way, we gain one draw from the draw pile on them in the exchange. I love this trick. Finally, there's a sneaky, perhaps risky maneuver where we actually discard the yellow two. This card is worth six points to them because of their two yellow handshakes, but it forces them to draw from the discard pile instead of from the deck. What's the expected value of a blind deck draw? I don't quite know, but it could be much greater than six points. We don't have a great hand. Is this relatively high risk play worth it this early in the game? In the simple game of Lost Cities, decisions are never clear. They're messy and subtle calculations where you try to figure out the odds without ever really knowing what the odds are. Add in a dash of psychology and you have something truly beautiful. <laughs>